Not only do you want to look great on your wedding day, you also want to feel amazing, and that starts with eating right. The multitasking mom, Mary Renee Lemberg, is here to show us a low-carb, gluten-free, no-dough pizza. Yes, this has been a rave on Facebook. So if anybody has a Facebook account out there, I'm sure you've seen someone in your feed that has clipped this. And being gluten-free for the past eight years, I, I had to try it. I was like, you have to be kidding me, because I've gone through every single mix that is out there for pizza cuts, and they all kind of taste gross. This is truly amazing, Ashley. And if you are a new mom, or if you are trying to lose weight for that wedding, this is no carb, this is gluten-free, and it's actually healthy. So you're amazing. good to go. Amazing, and everyone loves pizza. It's one yes. of those things that's so hard to give up. It really is. So you can is. satisfy that craving yeah. without feeling really guilty. Exactly. So you start with, this is the only fattening part. It is a full fat um, cream cheese block. You can't do the fat free and I think it's because you need the fat to actually make it mm -hmm. uh, congeal together. So it's an eight ounce full fat uh, cheese cream cheese block and two eggs so you can whip that up okay okay now and do you have how do you do you start slow and then yeah start slow and get it going you're okay good. every you're time good. i use this i get potato all over my kitchen nope, but you, you know are what good i'm adding some parmesan cheese to it and okay. that is a quarter cup of parmesan cheese and then um i'm also adding garlic powder and some italian seasoning and you just want to mix it actually so that it comes together and so that there's no more egg surfacing through there. Okay, I'm going for it. You are doing an excellent job. Once that all comes together, you'll spread it in a greased 9 by 13 pan and you will bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes at 350. Just the crust, or I should say the... Yeah, well it is your crust. The faux dough, we should yeah, call it. Yeah, the faux dough, it really is. Um, all right, you're a little more? No, you're good, hon. Are you're you sure? Good. Yeah. You yeah. can finish up however here. it should look. Here, we'll just give it a little bit of a mix here. Oh, see, you just go for it. I really <laughs> do. Come on. I don't want to get any uh, no, photo on you. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> if I walk out of my house without stains on my clothes with two kids, you are like half a... Isn't it true? It's like <laughs> nothing bothers you. I got stains no. and it's cool. Yeah. Well, if it's I'm on TV, I'm like, honey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> Mommy's going to notice stains. That's okay. No one judges you. Your mom awesome. too. I think it's great. Awesome. So you're going to take this and we're going to put it in our 9 by 13 pans. You can just scoop it in and you can spread it around. Okay. When it comes out of the oven, Ashley, you'll let it sit for 10 minutes, and then you'll add your pizza sauce, a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese, and this one I did not find that you had to use the full fat. I used reduced fat for it. Okay. And then you can top it with whatever kind of toppings you want. Um, personally, if you are up for it, and this is the great time to do it because the tomatoes will be coming out in season, if you can make your own tomato sauce, or I do, um, I blanch my tomatoes and I freeze them and then I make my own tomato sauce throughout the year, so this was like the last batch of meat sauce that I had. Wow. Um, it gives it so much more flavor, and that's really what you need. If you're taking out something, so you're taking out the carbs, you're taking out that, um, bread the dough yeah the right. dough aspect of it you need to add flavor in so yes. more toppings the better my girls are very adventurous but they're still a pepperoni pizza kid so this is actually the final product over here Ashley I just took this one out of the oven here in studio mm -hmm. and as you can see and it's a little hot but I'll show you guys it looks like an actual pizza crust it actually looks like a pizza and it cuts like a pizza and it, it serves does. like a pizza and um, by adding the Italian seasoning into the dough you're actually creating more of like a focaccia bread kind of taste to it so it gives it again that extra flavor that you're looking for that's a really, and then it's yeah, really good idea right on out just like a regular pizza crust oh yes it does my gosh and then you 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 can see what's going into it mm -hmm. so you know all the ingredients there's exactly. no dough no low, exactly. low carb and it's gluten free so yep. if you are on a uh, gluten free yes. diet then yeah and it's I'll tell you this one is a time saver for me because a lot of the times the mixes that are out there for gluten free are quite expensive to begin with so when you're talking about a family of four on one income which is what my husband and I do this is actually a really cost-effective way too because you're using cream cheese instead of the gluten free mix and you're able to make it for actually pennies versus quite a bit of money for those mixes. Now, I'm curious, what did the kids say? Did you tell them you're, that they were eating pizza? What did they say when they tried it? I told them they were eating pizza. They loved it. In fact, I personally like this one cold versus any of the gluten-free that are out there, or even just like your regular pizzas that you get at the store or um, that you pre-make yourself or you've ordered it. It gets that like cardboardy taste after a couple of days. Yeah. This doesn't because there's no flour in it. So you're eating just what tastes like a, a fresh pizza pizza right then. Can I try some? Absolutely, go right ahead. All I can smell is this over yeah, here, and this yeah, smells tasty, on. but. Here, I'm gonna give you a little small piece so you and don't so get And so say it again, idea. how long, you, you baked the, the dough, the faux dough yep. for 
how long? I bake the faux dough for 10 to 15 minutes at 350. And that, see what I'm saying? It's really good. And then you let that sit for 10 minutes. It needs to kind of come together and set up. Add your sauce, your cheese, and your toppings, and bake it again for another 10 minutes until it's golden brown. That is so easy, yeah. and it is so good. It's, yeah. pi it's pizza. It's pizza. So in less than 30 minutes, you have pizza, and it's fresh right from your refrigerator. Wow. Yeah. But you definitely want to put it in a, in a dish with sides, you obviously. Do. You don't want to yeah. put it on a pizza stone or anything. No. I mean, no, it will spread out on you. Um, another trick, too, if you're thinking that you save time by using, it, by using the tub cream cheese versus the block, it doesn't come out the same. It really needs that block cream cheese versus the pre-softened tubbed one. And I don't understand the chemistry on that. I really don't. That's okay. I mean, we don't expect you to. But I'm really glad you said that because I, yeah. I always buy the tub of cream cheese. Yeah. I yeah, it doesn't tried to quite do that. work the same. So get the block. Get the block Full and you're good. Full fat block and that's yes. just really all the fat that's in it. That's, that's all that. the fat that's in it. And you spread it out over a whole 9 by 13 and you pizza. Can put any so. kind of, any right, exactly. So you're yeah. not getting that block of cream cheese in one no. serving. No. And you could use any kind of cheeses you want, then the, yep. the sky's the limit in terms exactly. of what you can do. Yeah, you can make this so even good. like a sweet and savory sort of thing. So that's like your, your dough and then you add, you know, you could add caramelized onions, you could add types of fruit, you could add goat cheese on top, whatever you want it to be, because that's your crust and you've just made it that way. Oh, Mary, Thanks for showing You're us how welcome. to do this. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm sure everyone at home is going to try it. So if you want a copy of this no dough pizza, low carb, gluten free, head over to our website later today. Thank you, Mary. You're Renee. welcome. Next on